Bees live in a completely different world than we live in. When the time you blink your eye, a bee beats its wings 65 times. They're basically these aerial tankers. They spend most of their day flying around looking for food sources and then carrying them back to the hive. But we were really surprised to see how many times they collided with obstacles. Bumblebees are colliding with vegetation structures on average once per second. They're immersed in this unpredictable, unsteady uh, airflow. And so while they're trying to land on a flower, they're being buffeted back and forth by wind, the flower's moving. So they're really very important pollinators of plants. So understanding how they fly, how they get around, what affects their flight um, is really critical. So Andrew, Mountcastle, and Nick Gravish set up a really cool system where they could elicit maneuvers and also look at collisions. I like to think of high-speed video as a time microscope. In the same way that a traditional microscope is magnifying space, a high-speed camera is magnifying time and allowing us to peek into a world that we would otherwise be unable to see. These collisions are a fraction of a second. With high-speed cameras, we're actually able to start to see what these collisions look like and how they affect the bumblebee. And the thing that's likely to collide most often is the wings. And we started to wonder whether insect wings might display biomechanical strategies to help them mitigate damage associated with these collisions. To ask this question, we conceived of this device, which we affectionately call the wing whacker. We mount uh, an anesthetized bee to a rotational motor, and we spin it around really, really fast to try to replicate the speed at which these insect wings are colliding with obstacles in natural flight conditions. What we noticed when we looked at high-speed videos is the wing was flexing at this joint, sort of in the center of the wing. When a wing collides with, with an obstacle, the wing tip will bend out of the way. The wings of most insects consist of rigid, hollow veins that are connected by a very thin membrane. When we look at a bumblebee wing, we find these really interesting uh, flexible structures that have this fascinating protein called resolin in them. In bee wings, we see something like five to nine resolin joints, particularly in the middle and back of the wing that allows them to bend along their length. It's extremely elastic. So it returns almost 99% of the energy you put into it. Think of it as a perfect rubber band. And so we knew for a while that this has been behind a lot of insects' amazing jumping abilities. But only recently, people have begun to realize that little tiny patches of this elastic proteins are in the wings themselves. It seems like having these flexible wings that are more robust to collisions kind of relieves the nervous system of having to be quite as precise. This really reduces the chances that workers are going to be lost in a collision, which is a big cost to the hive. And, you know, this has a lot of implications for robotics. So this is the RoboBee. It's a flapping wing robot that is inspired by honeybees and bumblebees. Um, it has two wings that flap at 120 hertz, and it's capable of stable and controlled flight. We can make it move left or right or forwards or backwards. Um, so we can basically control how it flies and where we want it to fly to. What happens right now when the RoboBee happens to collide with obstacles is typically the wings break. The traditional thought has been that we have to get the control system perfect. We're starting to see that insects in particular are just really robust. They don't have to have a perfect control system because they can just withstand collisions. And so it seemed to me like a great opportunity to try to incorporate a flexible joint into the RoboBee wing to allow the wing tips to buckle when the RoboBee collides with obstacles. 
several decades ago, we had almost no understanding of even how insects fly, let alone details of how their wings bend or the behaviors they perform. Using high-speed video has really allowed us to see things that we could never see. Okay, that one looks good. So it's really kind of lifting a veil on this hidden world that you know, was right in front of us, but was so fast we just had no idea what was going on.